Right, so just up here looking at one of the loosened paddocks, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of um, aphids, fleas on it. Um, a lot of them, so um, I've been doing some interesting uh, trials with uh, calcium chloride. When a plant takes in calcium chloride, it actually makes the the, the foliage a bit bitter. And uh, I've been using it to try and keep uh, wallabies and rabbits and that off um, different crops, loosen and wheat and stuff. And that seems to work relatively okay. Um, and last year. Um, I was having lots of trouble with aphids in the lucerne, so I thought I would, you know, use the calcium chloride and see if the aphids had the same you know, adverse reaction to the, the taste of the plant. Um, I applied two litres per hectare of calcium chloride, and um, about four days, five days later, um, the aphids were all off the plants and just jumping around the ground. Um, before that they were just, there was millions of them just covering the plants and then yeah four days later they, still lots there but they'd come off the plants and were just hopping around the ground. And I did that with one paddock and I thought it's got to be a coincidence. Um, and then a couple weeks later one of my other paddocks had, had the same infestation so did the same thing to that and had the same result. So. Um, it's been mucking around with it, seeing seeing what I can come up with. So the plan is to spray this one now because there's a lot of aphids in it, and um, yeah, put a heavy dose. Of, might even go three liters. Um, uh, there is a point where the plant burns a little bit. Um, when I put the two liters on, anywhere that's sort of got double overlap slightly burnt um, so that would be four litres per hectare um, in places where the boom sort of swept backwards and forwards going around a corner that was pretty badly burnt but that could have been up to six or eight litres per hectare so on that spot area so um, I might go for three litres on this and I see what it does and I'll report back in yeah four or five days time after application and and show you the results. Well, I've just sprayed the lucerne with the calcium chloride. So, it's pretty early in the morning, didn't get this done before going and digging potatoes, so. Let's spray it on and we'll come check it out in a, over the next few days and see what result we come up with. So again, I put three liters of calcium chloride and 500 mils to the hectare of Hasten spraying oil. So I'm back here in the Lucerne paddock that I sprayed with calcium chloride. I'm just going to show you some of the results here. Um, I put three liters per hectare of calcium chloride on, and I think it was a little bit too much. You can see a bit of scorch on the leaves. A little bit of burn um, that will cover fine, um, but yeah, I've usually put two liters, and I thought I'd try three liters, and yeah, it's a bit too much. I think it's probably back to two liters. Um, so yeah, just a couple. I'll show you here. Now yeah, this camera's not the best because it's got a fixed focal point, so it's hard to show you up close on things. But um, if you remember, there was a lot of aphids all over it. Now, nice and green and healthy and jumping away. Now, you can see one there, she's all brown and dead. Uh, got some more here. I don't know if you can see one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten there. Yeah. They're all dead and brown. There's a green one here. I'll show you this. You see that green one there? 
Usually a loose and flea would jump away when you touch it. I touch him. He's sick, he does what he doesn't want to go. Um, where else we got some? Having a bit of a look here. Come on there, no. There's another dead one there. Dead one there, dead one there. On the live green one to show you. You can see the fresh growth there is completely unhurt, it's going away. Let's have a walk over here. There's one, there's one there. Fell off. Yeah, so very interesting results. Um, yeah, as you can see, it has scalded the loosen just a little bit. So I've been on this strip for two days. I've moved them on to the next one. There doesn't seem to be any palatability issues with the calcium. They seem to be eating it fine, and they're not behaving incredibly hungry so they've obviously been eating enough um, this is my water set up at the moment it's got a little trough here with a uh, ball clock and got a thousand litre tank on the old farm trailer um, this is what I've been using um, recently um, once I get the other paddocks um, set up ready for grazing I'll actually run a, a line just on top of the ground um, down the fence line I'll have a saddle and a K-line um, connector probably every 30 metres and then I'll just have a, a half inch hose from that um, or a three quarter inch hose from um, that connector and long enough to reach like four breaks, so for four days, and then for the next, I'll shift it to the next connector um, and just move the trough along. I'll get a little poly trough, so that'll be the plan. And then I won't have to shift the tank everywhere, I'll just run a line from the top of the hill down because we've got a water line at the top of the hill running up along those pine trees. Um, so I'll just run a, a main, probably two inch line from the top all the way to the bottom on one side and then just shift the chop up every day which won't take a lot of work once I get that set up um, yeah so I don't seem to be worried about the calcium flavor we'll um, keep looking into this it seems to be doing quite well it's got the, the dual it's more triple purpose really it keeps the helps keep the wallabies and rabbits and that off um, it seems to either kill by starving or just toxically overload the aphids and provides calcium for the plant so it's a really a win 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 so anyway I've got to head off spud digging so I'm going to bring a lick block up here for them and off and do that so thanks for watching i'll keep you posted of any other um, updates cheers